In our first Gordon Ramsay video, we showed you some things most people didn't know about this world-famous chef. Well, we're back, and this time we're taking a look at some of the more ridiculously expensive things he owns. From watches to cars to houses, we've got it all. So put the lid on that boiling pot, set the timer, and be sure to hit the subscribe and notification buttons, because trust us, you really don't want to upset Chef Ramsay on this one. London Home they say that there's no place like home. Okay, technically Dorothy from Kansas said that, but we think it applies to everyone, even the rich and famous. In the world of celebrity, it's often hard to know exactly where home is. After all, celebs usually have so many houses that sometimes we're unsure which one is the main house. In the case of Gordon Ramsay, things aren't that tough. This Scottish-born chef's home base is actually in London, England. Specifically, Ramsay and his family live in the Battersea area of London in an area known as Wadsworth Common. He purchased the house in 2002 for around $4.2 million. At that time, it was a four-apartment building. However, with some serious renovation, this one-time apartment building was transformed into an eight-bedroom family dwelling. In addition to all of the room and a very large kitchen, which we'll get to in a minute, this pricey home came with access to a backyard park complete with tennis court. In fact, only 15 homes have access to the park, making it a rather pleasant, semi-private park. If you're ever in London looking for this celebrity home, you'll be able to pick it out thanks to all the security cameras around the house. Pricey Kitchen As you can imagine, no home of a celebrity chef is complete without a pretty large and well-equipped kitchen. As we've already told you, Gordon Ramsay moved into his London home in 2002 after paying $4.2 million. In addition to all of the required renovations to turn the former four-apartment complex into a single-family dwelling, Ramsay also began a major overhaul of the kitchen. While most of us would be happy buying some new appliances and getting a marble or granite countertop, someone of Chef Ramsay's caliber requires something a bit more high-end. How much more? Well, about $640,000 worth. That's right, for the price of an average LA home, Ramsay created a kitchen most restaurants would be jealous of. In addition to lots of light and storage space, this kitchen also comes equipped with a heated floor and high-end Smeg refrigerators and freezers. There is, however, a jewel in this crown. The centerpiece of this kitchen is surely the $86,000 range made by French company Rorg. Weighing two and a half tons, this thing had to be brought in with a crane. Ramsay reportedly uses it when creating his own recipes for his restaurants. LA Home you're truly not a world-famous celebrity unless you own a couple homes somewhere across the world. Gordon Ramsay is absolutely no different in this respect. So where does one set up a second home when they need to get away from the notoriously damp and overcast English weather? Well, Los Angeles, of course. In 2012, with his fame and wealth exploding, Ramsay decided it was time to live the rich American lifestyle by getting a mansion in La La Land. After all, considering the number of American television programs he was involved with, it only made sense. No doubt inspired by the Fresh Prince, Ramsay whisked for a cab and headed to Bel Air. There, he purchased a $6.75 million estate, which was built in 2003. As you'd expect, this home comes loaded. It is five bedrooms, six bathrooms, a swimming pool, and of course, a very large and modern kitchen. Sitting on an acre, it also has a fantastic ocean, canyon, and city view. As an added perk, Ramsay's LA home is reported to be not too far from good friend David Beckham's house. Ferrari F12 TDF When you're rich and famous, you can indulge in pretty much anything. Love to travel to exotic locations? Not a problem. Enjoy covering everything in your home in gold? Done. In the case of Gordon Ramsay, his indulgence may not be what most people would expect. After all, as a chef who owns and operates dozens of restaurants, you might think Ramsay was about the finer things in life, like really expensive foods, wines, cigars, or even jewelry. By his own admission, this chef's most treasured possessions are his Ferraris. He has several of them, and some are a little more special than others. Take his Ferrari F12 TDF as an example. This is definitely no ordinary F12 Berlinetta. Sure, it has the same 6.3 liter V12 engine. The difference, however, is that the TDF is more powerful and lighter than other F12s. You see, TDF stands for Tour de France, an auto race Ferrari took part in until the mid-1980s. 
In homage to this, Ferrari created this special car and limited its production to just 799. While the reported base price for this car is $450,000, examples of the TDF sold for as much as 1.5 million in some parts of the world. Cornwall Home with one multi-million dollar home in London and one in Los Angeles, you'd think that would just about satisfy anyone. But you forget one important thing. Like all celebs, Gordon Ramsay needs a vacation home when he's looking to get away from the hustle of the big English and American cities. The answer to Ramsay's vacation home search was found in the south of England in a region known as Cornwall. To be even more specific, the house is located in the small coastal town of Rock. There, Ramsey purchased a 1920s stone house sitting close to the shore for a whopping $5.6 million. Amazingly, rather than be happy with the purchase and add the odd renovation here and there, this reality chef decided to bulldoze everything and build a new house with a second smaller house closer to the water. As you can imagine, the people of the village were pretty upset with this plan. After winning a legal battle and getting his way, development began on a new four-floor building with five bedrooms and a pool. Naturally, there is also a massive kitchen with an additional second kitchen for prep work. By the shore, the second house will be smaller, but have room for boat storage. It's quiz time. All this talk of expensive properties has us wondering, which city in the U.S. is the most expensive to live in? We bet you have a pretty good idea of what the answer is. We'll tell you after going through five more ridiculously expensive things that Gordon Ramsay owns. Rangers FC Growing up, Gordon Ramsay did what most kids in Britain do. They play soccer and support a specific team. In Ramsay's case, that team was Rangers FC of Scotland. The chef's love for all things Rangers went further than just being a fan. In the 1980s, he actually went on trial with the historic club and even trained with them for a period of time. Unfortunately, injury ruled out any sort of career and led Ramsay down the cooking path that made him so famous. Nonetheless, he maintains close links to the club. In fact, a couple years ago, he purchased shares in the club as part of the Rangers' first organization. This group, he owns around 2% of the clubs, are unhappy with the way the board is running things and want to see that their team is in better hands. Given Rangers is valued at around $44 million, this means Rangers first holds about a $900,000 stake in the club. As Ramsey is likely one of the richest members of the group, it's likely he owns a fair share of the holdings. Cornwall version 2.0 Wait, didn't we already go over Gordon Ramsay's Cornwall estate? Why yes, yes we did. However, when this multi-million dollar property was being bulldozed and rebuilt, Ramsay and his family couldn't go without some sort of Cornwall vacation property. That would be just silly. His solution was simply to buy yet another vacation home in the area. This one is one and a half miles north of his main vacation home in the small town of Trebetherick. The emergency vacation home sits on two and a half acres of land and comes complete with a pool and tennis courts. The house itself has six bedrooms and four bathrooms, and we imagine the kitchen isn't too shabby either. So, what did it cost Ramsay to own a second waterfront property while his first one was being rebuilt? The Trebetherick estate put a $3.8 million dent in his bank account. As an added bonus, because Ramsay owned so much valuable property in Cornwall, he also faced a further $1.3 million tax on top of all of this. Boy, being rich sure can get expensive at times. Ferrari La Ferrari Of course, we can't continue to talk about Gordon Ramsay's expensive things without revisiting his garage to take in some more of his high-end exotic cars. This time around, we're going to pick a couple of very exclusive and very expensive Italian vehicles. Naturally, given the chef's love of all things Ferrari, it was just a matter of time until we stumbled upon his Ferrari La Ferraris. Yes, it's a bit of an awkward and silly sounding name for a car. After all, it translates into Ferrari, the Ferrari. Nonetheless, this hybrid supercar is a much sought after vehicle in the collector world. First, in 2015, he picked up a gray $1.3 million LaFerrari. A year later, he returned to purchase a convertible version of the car. The LaFerrari is highly sought after, with one example even bringing in several million dollars at auction. Loaded with Formula One technology and generating upwards of 950 horsepower, it's easy to understand why someone who loves all things Ferrari would want one. We guess Ramsey really likes them given he's owned two of these rare machines. Watches In the world of high-priced celebrity items, we have a lot of houses, cars, boats, and planes. Watches, however, are one overlooked luxury item that the rich and famous buy for themselves. Gordon Ramsay is no exception to this rule. 
While celebrity watchers are busy taking in all the big ticket items Ramsey has amassed over the years, no one was looking at his wrist. Many times, if you look closely, you can see him wearing some form of Breitling watch. These watches likely cost the reality star somewhere from $2,000 to $5,000, depending upon the specific model and features. The watch that caught most people's attention, however, is Ramsey's Rolex Submariner. It appears this is the Scotsman's favorite when he's out and about on the town or hanging out at an LA Lakers game with BFF David Beckham. A modern Submariner costs somewhere in the neighborhood of $9,500. The twist here is that Ramsey's version is the vintage model, which could have cost well over $20,000. Media and Restaurant Empire He's got multiple million-dollar homes, a fleet of high-priced Ferraris, shares in a world-famous soccer club, and of course, expensive watches. The one thing we haven't yet touched upon is his massive restaurant and television empire. In fact, Gordon Ramsay's entire reason for being famous is because of his cooking ability and personality which allowed him to grow an empire based around the kitchen. Several years ago, his business empire went through a bit of a rough patch with several restaurants closing and an ongoing legal battle with his father-in-law. His company, Gordon Ramsay, Ramsey Holdings was actually loaded with debt and in need of restructuring. Today, things are looking better. In fact, his overall worth is valued at around $160 million, with his 2016 income reported to be around $54 million. To put it in perspective about how big that actually is, Forbes reports that income is the same as Beyonce. With his restaurants generating $150 million in revenue and Ramsey commanding upwards of $400,000 per television episode, this is one empire built on food that looks like it hasn't gone bad yet. So, do you think you know the answer to which U.S. city is the most expensive to live in? The answer, New York. If we're getting specific, it's actually Manhattan, where the rent alone averages out at over $4,200 a month. And yet again, we come to the end of our video, my friends. As you know by now, you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. So why not head off and check out another one of our videos? We've got all sorts of celebrity specials, including even more Gordon Ramsay facts, if that's what you're really into. Just be sure to remember to let us know you're on board for our paparazzi tours by hitting that subscribe button. We'll be sure to see you next time. Bye-bye for now.